The Environmental Audit Committee is appointed by the House of Commons to consider to what extent the government's policies and programs contribute to environmental protection and sustainable development. Last year, the UK published its first white paper on overseas territories since 1999 and the committee reported back on its findings regarding sustainability in these territories. Of the 188-page report, a large percentage is dedicated to the written and oral evidence provided by witnesses, comprising mostly of environmental experts and representatives of NGOs. Among them is the UK Overseas Territories Conservation Forum, a charity promoting the conservation of biodiversity, ecosystems and the sustainability of OTs and their local communities. The forum, which was also involved in the preparation of a report for the government of Gibraltar on fisheries, dedicates a significant amount of its submissions to the fishing dispute. Among the criticisms of its lack of protection of Gibraltar's waters, the forum highlights the UK's failure to subscribe the territory to international conventions and initiatives and therefore it falls between the slats. It says there's a perception within Gibraltar, both in government circles and among the general population, that the UK government doesn't do enough to protect them from Spain, and preference is given to not upsetting the Spanish government at the expense of Gibraltar's interests. The forum suggests that the UK government reviews its internal processes and comes up with a specific strategy involving a cross-departmental task force to deal with primarily environmental objectives, but also to decide what action is taken in respect of Spanish incursions. The forum believes the UK failed in its obligation to Gibraltar by allowing Spain to designate British Gibraltar territorial waters as part of its own special area of conservation under the Habitats Directive, which was then accepted by the European Commission. The body recommends that the UK supports Gibraltar by enforcing fisheries protection and resists Spanish support for illegal activities. It says the Royal Navy should be instructed to support Gibraltar in the defense of territorial waters and their resources. The EAC's report also contains a reply to the Conservation Forum by Minister for Europe David Lillington, who rejects the forum's criticisms and defends the UK's handling of incursions into BGTW. Mr. Lidington says the Royal Navy defended British sovereignty by challenging all incursions by Spanish state vessels, but the UK government wouldn't escalate the situation, and all differences with Spain should be resolved diplomatically. The EAC conclusions themselves don't mention Gibraltar specifically, but make broad criticisms of the UK's relationships with OTs from an environmental perspective, saying it's failed to negotiate the extension of the Convention for Biological Diversity to the OTs. It says the government is unclear of its responsibilities and describes the 2012 White Paper as a failed opportunity. In a statement, the Foreign and Commonwealth Office says it welcomes the committee's report, will carefully consider its findings and recommendations, and respond in due course.